So this is Greg and I and Gregory in the Black Ghost heading to the Woodward Dream Cruise, which starts at M1 Concourse in Pontiac, Michigan. So we're driving up Woodward at the moment. As you can see, there's the Black Ghost. We're in the official new Black Ghost. We're driving up Woodward, just seeing some of the cool cars riding up and down Woodward as we're heading to Pontiac. So Greg and I are now jamming to Rick James, but I can't play it on here because of copyright. So you see Greg bobbing his head. And, you know, Rick James was, uh, was a good artist. We liked to listen to him. So, you know, we were jamming to him. So you see it's just still cruising up Woodward as we're heading to the M1 concourse. Should be coming up to it pretty soon. And then once we get up there, I'll be able to show you some of these cars up close and personal.
So here we are in line at M1 Concourse waiting to get in. <clears throat> the line was kind of slow to begin with. The people up front didn't really know. They knew what they were doing. It was just hard finding people's names on the list. So as you can see, we're jamming a little bit more to some Rick James. But Good morning. This is I Coach. Can't play it. Untouchable Customs here at M1 Concourse in Pontiac, Michigan. We are just getting in I'm here with Gregory Qualls and Gregory Qualls in the back. And we're going to see some cars today and have a good time. We are rolling in the new Black Ghost. As you can see, Gregory drove here at about 165 miles an hour. We got here in about 10 minutes. Thought I was going to lose my pants for a minute. <laughs> M1 Concourse. It's just cold. Yeah, but well, we got to go down this pit. So as you can see now, we're pulling into the pit in M1 Concourse where they're designated the pit area for Mopars and a few Corvettes. This um, event was dedicated and specialized for Mopars and Corvettes, but we were in the pits and the there were a few vets, but the vets were up, up, up top. There were more vets up top.
So you can see we're parked here. There's Curtis and his wife, Amanda, Mopar Kurt, from Detroit, but now lives in Arizona. But this, all these cars that you see are just Mopars, just Mopars, Mopars, Mopars. There's a, there's Shaddy's uh, 68 Charger. Make sure you call him Shaddy, don't call him Shady. Nice little 300 SRT. 70 Road, oops, sorry, 70 Superbird, my bad. There's a Cuda, 70 or 70, I think, I believe it was a 70. There's a 70 Super B. There's a 71 to 74 Charger, a 69 to 70 Charger, 70 Challenger. That's a 68 300, I believe, convertible, really nice car. 69 Roadrunner. You got the new, newer E-bodies over there, Challengers. Jeeps, uh, Cherokees, Trackhawks, SRTs. There's an older Charger. So, you know, just a homage of new and old Mopars. It's just a joy just to walk through to see all these vintage cars, really clean. They have their own personality to each one of them. So I'm just going to let the camera roll. I had to cut out the music in the background. That's why I'm doing the voiceover because there was a DJ. The music was very loud. And, you know, of course, for copywriting purposes, you can't have the music playing. So. Hey, 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 hey. This is a Hellcat swapped 69 Charger. I'm not sure if it's on a sitting on an a E body. If they just took the body of a 69 Charger and sat it on top of a newer gen Challenger, Hellcat Challenger. Nice Durango and a couple of Hellcats. Love the wide bodies. Wide bodies are really, really cool. Of course, my favorite is, is the Charger. I just love me a wide body Destroyer Gray Charger, whether it be a Hellcat or a 392. I just like the wide body. Hopefully one day I'll get one. A 69 Road Runner right there. There's a 68 or 69 Barracuda. 69 Roadrunner. I think that's a Hemi. No, that's a Pace car. That's a Hemi car, I believe, convertible. Very rare car. This, that's a Hemi 69 Hemi Roadrunner. 
that's just a monster of a rule runner right there. That's a 69 body as well. A duster, or my, no, actually that might have been a demon. 70 Cornet RT convertible. Just some really cool cars. 70 Cuda. Something special about that one. So this is me and Greg taking a walk uh, up top out of the pit. Like I say, it was a day of um, Mopars and Corvettes, although there were all other types of cars there. But there were a lot more Mopars and Vets than it was anything else. So we just decided to go up top and walk around just to see the other cars that were there. There's a Pacer. Well, wow, I didn't even see that when I was walking by it. Maybe because I had my eye on the camera, I'm not sure. Um, it was a very unique Buick right here uh, where the roof was shaved. I wanna say I turned around and took a look at it to see how cool it was, but maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Um, it was a really, really clean convertible donk. I think it was like a 75. 74, 75 um, Caprice convertible. Pontiac GTO. Just some really nice cars uh, overall. Just to see older cars and newer cars and what people have put their own personalities to make it theirs is, is just, uh, it's just a beautiful sight. I really enjoy the cars. I, I talk... 99% Mopar, but I enjoy all cars, all makes and models, as they all have their own uniqueness to them and their own personality. There's a judge, old Cadillac.
vets are really nice, but they just I just feel claustrophobic when I met them. They just feel so tight on the inside and so small. I just could never see myself uh, of buying a vet, even if I could afford one. They just they just seem really small. They're really cool cars, though. See another black car. Firebird, which is with the LED across the thing. Oh yeah, the night rider. Night rider.
Because you know Mopar trucks down here. Don't matter. <laughs> don't they don't vote. Damn it. There were some ram trucks down there. Me either. We'll vote, we'll vote for our cars. So you, right. Me, you, and uh, Gregory. We'll yeah. Vote. Let's just, just different classes. Right. Maybe my win, I don't know. Maybe my lose. Who knows? You know, I know one vote. thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stankin' Lankins. Lincoln Avenue. Lankins? Stankin' Lankins. Here on Bible, with some Lincoln's on him. Yeah. Oh, I like that, bro. Yeah, that, that ratty one right there? Yeah. No, the one right there. The, yeah, the, the one that's undone. Oh, yeah, no, the ratty one. Yeah, I like that one. Uh oh, here comes a speedster. Suicide. No door handle. Stankin' Lankin'. We'll go up here while we up here. We'll All right. Down. There's that gray one. Destroy a gray. Ooh, that gray is hot. That gray is hot. I mean, it might be a little too much black up front. Right? Maybe they did the bumper gray. Just that black one. So there was an airplane flying in the air. It's not a very good view of it. It was much bigger in person. But once again, I had to delete the voice that Greg and I were actually talking in real time because of the music playing in the background. But it was a pretty big plane that flew by. It was pretty cool. So that's what happened during that moment.
So in this last section, over here they have Vipers, Ferraris, I believe. Just some really cool cars. Seemed like there was something else over here I remember. There was a real cool Ford GT over here too. There's a Prowler. My buddy Murray brought his Prowler up on Saturday. He couldn't come this day. There's another Prowler. But this section has a lot of uh, the Vipers. I need to learn more about the different generation Vipers. Gregory can tell the years by just looking at them. I'm not really good at it just yet. So I need to do some homework and learn more about them. If I could own one of those, one day I probably would get one. Although I hear they're kind of compact inside too as well. GT all carbon fiber looks really expensive and I don't normally set the camera on fours like that but that carbon fiber really look nice Concourse. Greg went to the LL Cool J concert with his wife. So I just came out to Woodward myself, hopped on a scooter, and then I just found a nice little spot where I'm at now just to take some footage of cars driving by. There was a really funny couple, as you'll see coming up, that were uh, a young lady and a, and a guy that were egging on the cars uh, to do burnouts or to rev their engines. So it was pretty funny. Between the day and tomorrow. No car show in Chicago, Pennsylvania, all the places I've been, Ohio, nothing compares to this.
So here's the young lady and young gentleman who were egging on the cars to do burnouts, to rev their engines. And the young lady, believe it or not, was flashing her tits at some of the cars to get them aroused or to get them to do something. Thought it was pretty funny. And I did not actually see her uh, show her things, but I did see her lift her shirt up a couple of times. It was pretty funny and they were pretty cool. And I believe her boyfriend was sitting next to me in a chair, which it's all in fun and it's cool. I'm glad he wasn't the type of guy to get upset about something like that.
get dark, but the cars just keep coming and going. Woodward is just really a nice atmosphere to see different cars, to see different people, to just see really cool things. To me, there's nothing else like it. Of course, I haven't been to every car show in the world, but I can say that I have been to a few. And right now, Woodward is definitely in my top three. SEMA was a really good, eventful, and huge event. So that's in my top three as well. Well, that's it for the night, y'all. Tomorrow, Woodward Dream Crew is going to be popping even more. This is Coach with Untouchable Customs. Out.